Before we can take and put our new rings on our pistons and put them inside our cylinders, there are two things that we have to do. The first one is we have to check the ring gap. I can't stress how important this is. If this isn't done correctly or it isn't done at all, this is where rings get broken. So, as you look at this ring, there's a gap right here where my finger is going through. When this is inside the cylinder and it's made smaller, that gap is very, very small. And we need to know just how big that gap is. The way to do it is you take, you'll squeeze the ring, get it down inside so it's roughly in there like that. Take a piston, turn the piston upside down, and push down. And the piston will push down about an inch or so. And what that will do, well, that will then put the ring nice and level. With the ring nice and level inside the, the cylinder like that, find out from your shop manual how big a gap you're allowed to have. Get your feel -a gauge, set it to that. Reach down the cylinder wall and feel the gap. If the gap is too small, this ring will get broken or damaged. We can't have that. So if it is too small, an easy way to do it is to just get a file, put it in a vise so that you lock up and down like that. Take the ring, there's your file up and down, put the ring on both sides of the file, hold the ring, and do that a little bit. Take a few thousandths off of it if you have to. Okay, clean it up, put it back in, use your piston to straighten it out, and check your gap again. Sometimes every one of these is perfect and no work is necessary. Sometimes you have to do them all. The main thing is that you've checked it and you know that it's right. Now, when you've done and your ring gap is good and all your rings, you know they're going to be the right size to go in there. Imagine this ring and I've got it down here on this first groove and there's going to be a small gap at the edge. What we don't want is the gap from the second ring and the gap from the third ring to be in a line like that. We want to stagger them. So, perhaps my first ring will have its gap here. Perhaps my second ring will have its gap over here. Perhaps my third ring somewhere over here. And the idea is that there's a stagger in the rings. If you can do that, <clears throat> if you keep your ring gap the way it's supposed to be, and you staggered your rings, everything's going to be fine. In the next video, we're going to talk about how we're going to install these pistons.